Hey everybody, how's it going? It's me, No Arrows. Today, I'm going to be reviewing another comic, Bitch Planet, from Image, and uh, it's by Kelly Sue DeConnick and Valentine Delandro. Could be Valentine, I don't know. You'd have to ask him about that. But uh, it's a sci-fi comic. It's set in the future, in like this sort of uh, dystopian sort of society. Where like if you're uh if you're a woman and you don't like you don't conform to like you know the established standards I guess or rules for how a woman should behave and look and stuff, then uh you get shipped off to this like uh correctional facility. This like off world um uh off world prison. And they keep you there. And it's um and people call it Bitch Planet. And, uh, this is the main character here. And, uh, I was really, when I first heard about this comic, I was really sold on it. Like, I, I really thought the, uh, the, uh, idea was cool. Like, it, it, it promoted itself as being sort of a homage to, like, exploitation films, you know, women in prison films. And, uh, it 100% sounded like my deal because, like, prison films in general and, you know, prison media is, uh, oh, it, there, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with that, with that genre. But, uh, this comic didn't really deliver, you know, it didn't deliver my, to my expectations. I think it, its biggest failing is the characters. Um, when I was reading it, uh, it struck me that the uh, villains were uh, very one-dimensional, you know. But uh, and you know that 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 happens, you know. It, it a lot of comics are guilty of that. And then like after I finished the comic and I started thinking about how I wanted to do this review and what I wanted to say about this book, um, I realized that the heroes are also pretty one-dimensional. It's a very, uh, black and white sort of comic. Like, you've got, you know, all the, all the women in the jail are the heroes, and then everybody outside the jail is the villain, you know, and, and that, that's kind of as far as it goes, you know, with, with characterizations. Like, it, it just kind of expects, you know, that for the, that the reader goes into the comic knowing, or I guess not really knowing that they're the heroes, because that, that is obvious, but it's like, it expects you to go in there and feel for these characters and sympathize with these characters and root for these characters just, you know, without the writing putting in any extra work. And uh, it, it it wants the reader to make a lot of assumptions and... Uh, jump to conclusion conclusions as far as you know character motivations um, who's right and who's wrong you know personalities sort of hard to explain but I like I think if you read it uh, you'll know what I'm talking about There's a lot of nudity in this book, as you just saw. Oh yeah, here we go, here's some more. It's pretty constant. Like, I, I don't know why Image does this. Like, recently, like, they're, they're all about, like, continuous nudity in their comics these days. Or at least, maybe not, maybe not, like, overall, but, it, you know what? Like, they think it's super cool or something, like... But it's not. It's just kind of lame. It just kind of distracts from the story. I don't know. Like, not that I'm a prudish man or anything. Like, I just admitted to liking women in prison films. But, like, I... You know, there, there's a time and a place, you know. And, you know, one of the issues, maybe. But it's in, like... There's, like, a shower scene in, like, every issue, almost. Or at least that's how it felt. But, yeah. Uh... Oh yeah, I didn't even talk about the art, but there's not really much to say. It's like, it's pretty passable. 
Um, there's some there's some kind of neat layouts, I guess. Yeah. It's just like it doesn't really the art doesn't really service the story too much, really. It's just kind of like it doesn't sell the setting. It doesn't, you know, make the character like the characters go off model sometimes. Uh, I don't know. It it's there. I mean, you know, it's a comic. It has to have art. So this one has art in it. That's kind of how it feels to me. But anyways, yeah, the comic didn't really do it for me, Bitch Planet. Um, it wasn't what I wanted. You know, I I really thought that it would be. You know, I, I thought there would be a lot of, like, cool, you know, prison hijinks, you know, like, you know, like, prison TV shows, movies. Like, if you've ever seen one, you know what I'm talking about. You know, maybe they could, you know, plan a breakout or something. Maybe, they, you know, you know, you know, prison stuff happens, you know, somebody's smuggling stuff in, you know, like, things like that, you know, would be really neat to see. But, uh, it felt like the setting, you know, it the the prison stuff, the exploitation stuff, I felt like it just kind of took a back seat, you know, to what, I'm not sure, because it's not like the characters were really that interesting, but it just felt like it, the, uh, you know, it felt like the, the premise wasn't all there with the prison and all that, but, yeah, whatever, uh, that's what I thought of this comic, a lot of people like it, just wasn't my deal.